Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm SMATX. Today we have really interesting question, x square equal to 4 to the power x. How can you solve this question? Of course you can write your solution, your assumption down into the comment section, your notes down into the comment section, and we will check our answers here in just few minutes, so it will be, it will be really interesting. So first of all, x square 4 to the x, it will be really great when we apply natural log on both sides. So first of all, let's write our solution right here, so let's write our solution. Let's write our solution. And right now, let's apply nature log on both sides. So first of all, we have our question x square equal to 4 to the power x. Okay. First of all, let's apply nature log on both sides. Apply nature log on, on the left side. So we have nature log of x square equal to nature log of 4 to the x. And why I apply nature log on both sides? Because these two and this x will come down right here because there's like the main, the main log log property, so I hope you know this property, if you have, for example, doesn't matter log, nature log, for example, let's go with log, so we have nature log of, of we have right here 3, 3 cube, so this 3 will come down, will come down right here, so we have 3, nature log, nature log 3, okay, this is the main log, log property, and right now, in this case, we will have like 2 nature log, but with one really tricky moment, we're talking about x square, so x can be positive, x can be negative. So don't forget about this and let's put this absolute value right here, which is equal to x times nature log, nature log 4. Right now let's try to group our, our variables on the left side, for example, and our constant on the right side. How can I do this? Of course, let's divide, for example, both sides by 2. First of all, when we divide both sides by 2, as a result, Let's try to write it like that. I want you to see these new lines. So the next line we have, we divide in both sides by 2. So we have 2 nature log absolute value of x. We divide by 2 our, our left side and we divide our right side by 2. So we have x times nature log 4. We divide by, by 2. Right here we can easily cancel this. As a result, we have nature log absolute value of x. We have on the, on the left side. On the right side we have, we have x natural log 4 divided by by 2 and right now as i told before we wanted to group our constant on the right side and our variables on the left side so our last step is to divide both side by by x by this x as a result this x will appear right here so we will have like natural log absolute value of x we divide by by x which is equal to right here x we will cancel with this one so we have natural log 4 over over 2 Really great. So this is our first step. We just group our our variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. Right now we need to know a really interesting approach, a really interesting trick. First of all, we want to mention that right here we have absolute value of x. Absolute value, if you're talking about absolute value, we need to consider, we need to solve it in two cases. First one, when x is positive, and the second one when x is negative. So for example, let's start when x is positive. If x is positive, we will have like, let's write it here, a plus sign. So only you to understand that this is a positive. So we have nature log x, we divide by x equal to nature log 4, we divide by, by 2. Okay, so this is our first case when x is, uh, when x is positive. So x is greater than 0. We are talking about positive x. And right now, how can you solve this question? We need to know about Lambert W function. This is a really great example for applying Lambert W function. How this function looks like? I hope you know about this function because I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel about, about this Lambert W function, but maybe you are a new viewer, you want to learn it, you don't understand it, just look at it. So for example, we have a times e to the power a. a is for every want expression. And when we apply Lambert W function from this expression, as a result, we will have only a. Just look at this example. We have like, just look at it, for example, we have like 6 times e to the power 6. We have the same expression right here and right here as a power of e. When we apply lambda w function, as a result, we have only, only 6. Okay, so I hope you understand about this lambda w function. But we need to create the great expression for us. So just, just look at this left side. On the left side, we're going to create the great expression for us. A great expression, I mean the expression we have, which had this structure, a times e to the power a. First of all, let's try to create this e. How can you do this? Instead of this x, let's write e to the power nature log x. So instead of x, we're going to write e to the power nature log x. Okay, let's do this. Instead of this x, let's write this expression. As a result, we have nature log x, we divide by e to the power nature log x equal to nature log 4 over 
over 2, nature log 4 over 2. Right now, let's bring this e to the power nature log x from our denominator to numerator, but you need to know a really great property. If we have, for example, 1 we divide by x to the power y, we are talking about x to the power minus y, if we are talking about uh, bringing this x to the y from our denominator to numerator, okay? So we need to put minus. As a result, what we will have? We will have e to the power minus nature log x times nature log x, don't forget about this, times nature log x, equal to nature log 4 over over 2, times nature log 4 over 2. Really great. Right now let's change position. As you can see right here, if you're talking about a Lambert W function definition, we prefer E on the on the second position. So let's change position a little bit. As a result, we have nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to nature log 4 over over 2. Right now let's look closely what do we have. We have E, we have E right here. Everything is great. But we have nature log x, and if we call this as A, at the power right here we have minus a because we're talking about nature log x and minus nature log x which is completely different values completely different expression but we need to create the same expression a and a the easiest thing to do this is to multiply both sides by minus one when we multiply both sides by minus one so right here we have multiplication by minus one we will have minus right here okay when we multiply both sides by minus one we have minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x but it appears on the right side, but doesn't matter, we need to simplify our left side. So minus nature log 4 over minus nature log 4 over 2. Right now, if you look closely, just take a look, we have minus nature log x, minus nature log x. This is our a, and this serve is the same a. So this is a great moment to apply Lambert W function. When we apply it, we have only our, our a. So let's do the thing right now. Lambert W function of minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x, okay, and equal to Lambert W function of minus nature log 4, minus nature log 4, divided by, divided by 2, okay, really great, and right now, this is a Lambert W function of a times e to the power a, as a result, this is equal to a, so in our, in our case, we have minus nature log x on the left side, on the left side, equal to Lambert W function of minus nature log 4 over 2. Right now, the final tricky move right here, there are a lot of ways how can we do this. We can multiply it by minus 1, and uh, we can we can express it in another way, but uh, the easiest way to simplify this expression is to uh, multiply, first of all, by minus 1. When we multiply it by minus 1 right here, we will have like nature log x equal to minus Lambert W function of minus nature log 4 over 2. And the second tricky move right here is to create base of E on both sides. When we write base of E right here and base of E right here, this E to the power nature log X, we have uh, exactly the same expression, okay? E to the power nature log X equal to X. So E to the power nature log X equal to X equal to this one, E to the power minus Lambert W function of minus nature log 4 over over 2. But we can easily bring it from our numerator to numerator, so it looks like our final final answer looks like that, so we have our answer, our answer, x equal to, and this Lambert W function has indices, so we, can, we need to write it in terms of indices, so x equal to 1 over e to the power, e to the power, Lambert W function with, with indices, and of this expression, minus nature log 4, over over 2 and uh, i find this value for you i find it a uh, value before before the video i was wondering about about these points of intersection so x approximately equal minus 0 0.641 641 and right now we can easily see this graph you can easily see these points of intersection you can easily see this uh, these uh, points of intersection in terms of in terms of this uh, in terms of this answer and i hope you you see this uh, solution you see this point of intersection basically we need to we need to solve the second part with the negative value of x but basic but uh, mainly it changes nothing we uh, we will have like only one minus right here only in our answer so basically it changed nothing so our general answer is like that our approximately answer is like that so we hope you understand this explanation. This is like a tricky question according uh, in terms of Lambert W function. I hope you understand it. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of questions. 
and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you everyone for your support, thank you everyone for your response, if you leave a like, write in a comment, if you leave a dislike, if you don't like a video, I really appreciate it when you leave your response, it makes me better, it, uh, and then I try to improve my videos, I try to find something interesting for you and it's it's really great thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life just love math and take care of yourself see you in the next videos